hi guys and welcome back to the channel today you guys i got some home organization for you all today i'm going to be tackling my messy linen closet and this is my linen closet here is in my hallway it's a very small narrow closet and as you can see it has become a hot mess so it has become a dumping ground for all things that do not belong in this in linen closet so today we're going to tackle this mess organize it and get it back used for as its sole purpose so this video is in collaboration with one of my good youtube sisters here on youtube her name is tangy webb of home decor diys and more so i'll have her channel linked down in the description box below as well so when you get done watching my video make sure you go ahead and check out tangy's video as well and tell her i sent you okay guys so the first tip for organizing your linen closet is to clean it out clean it out purge everything that you no longer need go through the items that are in there and decide what needs to be in this linen closet and what doesn't so that's what i did here so i'm going to use my linen closet just for bath towels extra throw blankets and a few sheets and then i do have some overflow of my curtains and bath mats that's all i want to contain in this linen closet so i'm using these same storage baskets i had last year from target i think these work really well for storing your extra curtains and blankets and things like that because you keep them contained and that way you don't see them and it's not all over the place so if i can find a link i'll have it linked down in the description box below but i think it's by the room essential brand and i do have two different sizes a medium and a large and i think they work perfectly for my small linen closet just to contain all of those heavy duty items so I did go ahead and store some of my heavy quilts down at the bottom as well. And I'm only keeping two quilts in this linen closet. That way it's not overcrowded with um, additional linen that doesn't need to be in here. So like I said, I have these little baskets here that I'm using to store my curtain panels or my extra curtain panels. So I only allow myself to keep just eight panels in here. So I have one set for the living room area and then one set for my family room. So that's all I'm allowing myself to store in these baskets. And I'm gonna use these and place these at the very top. So all of your items that you're not using on a regular basis, you definitely wanna store those items higher up in the linen closet. That way you don't have to keep pulling them down because you don't use them that often as well anyway. And then in one of the other, in the second basket, I'm gonna just store some extra throw blankets as well. And then here in this larger basket here, I'm just gonna use it to store my bath mats. And I do have a set of three bath mat bath mats in this um, container here. And I also see I have them down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna just gonna use some dryer sheets to st stick in there, just because I like for my linen to stay fresh. So this is the trick that I always use. I like to take just like a Gaines dryer sheet and just tuck it in between the linen that way it stays extra fresh now I do want to store some bath essentials in my linen closet as well so on this shelf here I have my wash rags then I also have some essential things that I would need for bathing so in the next clip I'll kind of give you an idea of what's in those containers as well so I'm just using here these little refrigerator um, containers I got these from home goods and I'm just using it to store all of my linen sprays. I really wanted my linen sprays in one spot. So that's what I have here in these containers. So that way I'll be able to store it here in my linen closet. Then the next container, I just have all of my body washes. I thought these little plastic containers are really great for storing your body washes and shampoos and things like that. And like I said, I did pick it up from home because I believe they were like maybe six or seven dollars each. But they do belong in a refrigerator, but you can use them for other purposes so i'm using them here to kind of store some of my essentials in my linen closet and then that third container i just have my extra overflow of shampoo extra bar soap toothpaste and you know miscellaneous items like that so next in the center i always like to keep all of my bath towels and face towels and all that because those items are going to grab on a regular basis so i always like to keep those items within reach because those are the things that we're going to be using quite uh, more often so i'm going to show you a trick here of how i fold my, fold my bath towel so i'm going to share with you all here in this clip how i fold my large bath towels as well as my wash rags so this is how i fold them up my bath towels here i'm just kind of folding them in half along the width and then i'm going to go ahead and bring up the bottom half to the top as well in another uh, fold 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the end and kind of tuck it in one fourth of the way, then another one fourth of the way like so. And then that way it kind of gives me kind of this spa look, if that makes any sense. Because how you fold your bath towels does matter, especially when you want to store them. It allows for you to store more towels in here, a little bit more easier, and then it gives you a nice clean look in your linen closet. So for my wash rags, I keep it real simple. I'm just gonna fold it up one fourth of the way on one end and then another one fourth on the other end and then kind of uh, half them together or tuck them together. It's probably easier just to watch me than versus me trying to explain it to you. But it's real simple to do and it kind of gives you this kind of spa-like um, look. And then in my linen closet, because the linen closet is small and I don't want to have a bunch of um, clutter around, so I'm definitely only storing like two bath towels per guest. So it's like five of us in here, so I usually like to have um, at least 10 to 12 towels um, all together. That way it's not overcrowded and then I'm not storing a bunch of clutter in there as well. So this is the final look, you guys. And I do also have my face towels down there at the bottom as well. And then for my towels, I usually like to keep with the same color theme that's throughout the house. So I have either um, some all white and then I also have some solid gray and then I also have some white and gray. So I try to keep with those tones. That way it kind of flows with the rest of the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.